Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Intermediate System to Intermediate System ISIS lab number six. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at route leaking, and this is our route leaking scenario one. So, if this network diagram looks somewhat familiar to you, we've used this similar topology in our ISIS lab number two multi area ISIS and that's on Juniper series two we've also used this in the Juniper series three video which was IS I'm sorry in which we had ISIS lab number five which was that was our video on ISIS route summarization so the only difference is that we have a sixth router that we have added to the network topology so I'm gonna start off we're gonna first explain the network topology there's a lot going on we have a lot of the basic interface configuration already done that is the IP addressing and what we're gonna start this video doing is setting up the initial ISIS configuration on all of the routers so these routers are all logical systems. They're connected together via logical tunnel interfaces. If you're not familiar with those terms, I would suggest watching our logical systems labs number one and two on Juniper series one. That gives you a detailed look at logical systems and logical tunnel interfaces. So all the logical tunnel interfaces are equal to LT120.XX and what this means is on R5 the connection to router 3 I have it abbreviated as LT.53 but that's actually LT-120.53 all the router IP addressing router 3 has its LT.31 interface its fourth octet is dot three, so it'd be thirteen 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 three. And the connection to router five, the LT.35 IP address is thirty five thirty five thirty five dot three. And so all of those routers follow that similar pattern. Router one is the dot one in the fourth octet, router two is the dot two in the fourth octet. And this includes our loopbacks. All of these routers have loopbacks. For instance, router 1 is 1.1.1.1. And they are all slash 24s.